What's up guys, welcome to your 19th C++ tutorial and in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you guys how to use a do loop and a else if else statement to make a simple program. So let's go ahead and um, make a couple variables first. I'm going to be, what our program is going to do is um, ask you how old I am and then you're going to have to guess what my age is and based on the input it's going to give you uh, choices on what to do. So let's go ahead and make a variable for your answer. And of course, if you have an answer, you need a question. And my question is, how old is Bucky? And I'm 21, by the way, in case you uh, were just dying to learn already and you just want to watch your video because of that. So let's go ahead and end that line. And then once we got our variable and our um, question, we can go ahead and start making our uh, uh, if statements. So the first thing we want to do is have the user input um, an answer for our variable. So whatever they input right here, that's going to be stored in the variable answer. So now that we have that, let's go ahead and make a simple if statement. If the answer that they did is greater than 21, I'm going to have it output too high since I am not over 21 yet and then we want to end that line and then um, in the last tutorial I told you guys how to use it else but you, if you have multiple choices you can use something called else if not is if and this allows you to uh, have multiple choices the same question so I'm gonna have if answer is less than 21 I want you to let's just copy this copy and paste if it's less than 21 I'm gonna have you input too low so if you guess 13 then that's too low but if you don't guess an answer that's too high and you don't guess an answer that's too low I am going to have you output on the screen um let's see what can it be uh, let's just have it say correct nice and simple and line with a semicolon now since we have a basic statement what this is gonna do right now is it's gonna allow you to run the entire program once so say you guess an answer that's higher than 21 it's gonna say too high and then it's gonna end the program so let's go ahead and execute compile and run right now Hopefully I didn't mess anything up. And it says, how old is Bucky? Now you get to guess. 43, press enter. Too high, press any key to continue. That's the end of your program. But you want to keep guessing and guessing until you get the right number. So to do that, here's what you need to do. You need to make a simple loop called a do loop. And remember, a do loop executes any bit of code at least once before checking whether it's true or not. So you want to do all of this code at least once and the syntax for do loop is of course do and once you get to while this is where it checks if your um, uh, test is correct or not. While the variable answer is not equal to 21 and then and that so what's gonna happen is this you're gonna keep getting this test over and over again and it's gonna allow you to keep guessing and guessing and then at the end if you guessed 21 it's gonna end the program but as long as you didn't guess 21 and as long as your answer is not equal to 21 it's gonna keep doing this loop over and over so again do this loop while the answer is not equal to 21 so let's go ahead, execute, compile, and run. And let's see, as long as we didn't mess anything up, we should get a nice working program. How old is Bucky? Um, 55, too high, 66, or 6, no, nah, I don't want that. Too high, is he 11? Too low, how about 21? Correct. And that's the end of our program. So again, using a do loop and a while loop in a simple if statement 
This is how you can build a very simple C++ program that has multiple options. And again, if you want more than one option, you can use a else if statement as many times as you want. You don't have to use this just once. You can use it 10 times as you if you want. So again, that is how you build a simple C++ program with multiple options. Study that and learn how to use the do loop to repeat your program over and over. And I will be posting this code on my website, thenewboston.com. So if you want this raw code, you can go and get it there for free. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.